Sweetie, how you doing? Oh, just fine. Considering I desecrated your grandma's cremains, found out you were engaged, and had your father ask me to milk him. At least back then he was still talking to me, so I can't believe you didn't tell me you were that close. Who, Daddy and me? No, Kevin and you. Well, Greg, do we have to know everything about each other's pasts? I mean, you know, you never told me about your cat milking days in Motown. That was a long time ago, Pam. Yeah, okay, well, so was this. Kevin's and my connection was more physical than anything else. Physical? Like what, like you worked out together? <laughs> no, no, it was nothing, nothing. It was, it was a stupid sexual thing. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna go throw up now. Oh, great, listen, you, Kevin and I were only engaged for a month before I realized that I'd made a mistake, okay? I, I believe about the ring, I moved to Chicago, and I met and fell in love with you, okay? So can we please drop this? <sighs> okay. Good. I just feel like this is not going well at all. I feel like your dad hates me. He doesn't hate you, sweetie. Come on, just give him a chance, right? Maybe he's nervous too, huh? I thought he would love my gift. You know, being this big flower guy, but it's like, like he didn't even show the slightest bit of interest. Listen to me. Forget the gift. You're the most adorable, loving, sweetest man in the whole world. And I love you. And very soon my parents are going to see that and go to love you too. Okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. oh. Speaking of growing to love you. <laughs> Uh, I know, it's late, but Mr. Winky is still in Chicago time, and we both know there's only one way to make Mr. Winky go away, right? <laughs> and there it is. <sighs> What's with the robe? It's Pam's. Yeah, my pajamas are in the suitcase with everything else. Hey, I I'll lend you a pair of jacks. Okay, honey? Get sure. It. Oh, you, you don't have to do that, do Oh, you? no, no. B -b -b no, that's fine. We have to. Thank you. You're welcome. Look, Greg, I just want to say, don't worry about what happened tonight. Oh, well, thanks, Jack. I, I still, I feel horrible. I mean... Well, it was a horrible thing. But let's just put all that behind us and enjoy our weekend together. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Daddy. Oh, you thank you. Thanks, no, man. This will do just fine. Good night. Night, night. Why'd you eat my finger? Good, Good night. Good night. night. See you in the morning, I'm right? Sleep. Okay, you too. Oh, no, 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 Craig. We made up the pullout for you down in the den. Oh, okay, because Pam said I should sleep in Debbie's room, but... Well, Debbie will be sleeping here tomorrow, so this way you'll have more privacy. You'll have your own bathroom. We're just trying not to flush the toilet, okay? It, it's always a little quirky. Okay. Oh, one more thing. I'm a realist. I understand mm -hmm. it's the 21st century, and you've probably had premarital relations with my daughter. But under our roof, it's my way on the Long Island Expressway. Is that understood? Of course. Yeah. Good. Keep your snake in its cage for seven. 